So our time together is soon coming to a close. And I always like to end any sort of retreat, whether a day long or a weekend or a longer retreat, with metta meditation. To share thoughts of loving kindness with ourselves and with all beings. share some of the benefits that we've experienced during this retreat and to send that out in the hope that it just alleviates the suffering in the world, even a tiny bit. So before we begin the metta meditation, the first step is just to arrive again in your body. And especially for metta, to see how you can make yourself as comfortable as possible. That's the first kindness you can do to yourself. just bringing your awareness to your own body, suffusing your body with kind awareness. Allowing that awareness to flow down through every part of your body. Soothe, relax, calm, any aches or tensions. As though you were looking at your body, your inner experience with kindly eyes. not wishing it to be anything other than it is, but opening your heart to all the little aches and pains, tightnesses, tensions, and also to any pleasant sensations. Suffusing all of it in this spirit of loving friendliness, warmth, acceptance. So from this place you may continue to meditate in your own way if you wish, otherwise you can follow the suggestions for practicing loving kindness. So first of all, bringing to mind a special being in your life, somebody who brings a smile to your heart and to your lips when you think of them. It may be a dear friend, it may be a parent, a child. It could be a benefactor, someone who's helped you materially or spiritually. 
someone who you feel very safe around. And a natural sense of well-wishing can arise towards that person without too much complication. So don't choose someone you have a conflicted or difficult relationship with, but someone who you have a very simple, loving, caring relationship with. And imagine them in front of you. If you're a visual person, you may be able to picture them. Other people are able to get a sense of that person's presence. Maybe remembering some of their admirable qualities. However you can evoke their presence, bring them to mind as the object of your loving kindness. And staying connected to your heart, to the awareness of your heart in your own body, or some part of your own body. Gently offer them your wishes of loving kindness. It may help to use some simple phrases such as, may you be happy. May you be peaceful. May you be liberated from all suffering. Choose whatever phrases resonate for your deepest wish for this person. And listen in between the words to the direction that they're pointing. Recognizing the emotion, the feeling of loving kindness. And be very patient, not demanding in nature, allowing it to gently grow. Imagining your friend receiving your loving kindness and smiling back at you. Repeating the phrases slowly, clearly, calmly. Remaining connected to this person's presence.
and staying in contact with your heart area or with the whole of your body if that helps. Gently allow this person's image, presence to fade away from your mind. And allow the metta to spread out from your body into this room. Towards all these people who we've been sitting together with. Imagining the powerful loving kindness bathing each person in a golden glow bringing a smile to their face. And send your wishes of loving kindness to all beings in this room. May we all be happy May we all be peaceful. May we all be liberated from all suffering. Noticing the feeling in your heart and allowing it to grow and spread. Filling up this Dhamma Hall with the warm glow of loving kindness. And then spreading beyond this hall out towards the neighbors' houses and into their houses. Down the hill to the whole area of West Orange where people are going about their daily business. Maybe in a good mood, maybe having a difficult day. May they all be happy. May they all be peaceful. May they be free from all suffering. And receive our wishes of loving kindness. to spread beyond this area into the New York City, maybe to your homes or places that you've come from, nearby or far away, until your meta spreads to cover the entire USA. From there you allow it to spread north, south, east and west to cover this entire globe to all beings, human or non-human visible or invisible, far or near, weak or strong.
spreading to areas where there are wars, droughts or famines. Imagining that loving kindness spreading a golden glow, healing energy on those areas, relieving the suffering of all those beings, human beings, animals, birds, reptiles, May all beings on this planet Earth be happy, be free from danger, be safe. Be peaceful. May they be free from greed, hatred and delusion and all the causes of suffering. We share our peace, our harmony, our loving kindness. Spreading to the areas affected by forest fires all the animals that have been harmed may be struggling to find food to the areas affected by floods, earthquakes maybe hurricanes or typhoons And to the Mother Earth herself, healing all the harm, the devastation caused by human greed. And down into the oceans, to all the sea life. beings be happy, be peaceful, be liberated. The feeling the emotion of loving kindness in your own body and mind. as it spreads to the whole planet Earth. And allowing your attention, your awareness to spread beyond this particular planet, out into the universe, where we can see planet Earth like a golden circle glowing. Healing all beings, healing the planet with the power of our loving kindness.
very gently, slowly, drawing that loving awareness in more closely, back into this planet, into the country. Slowly back into this room, to all the people sitting here. Bringing it back to the source of that loving kindness in your own heart. Recognizing that there's one person we've missed out, ourself. So staying connected to our own heart, to our own experience now, seated here. Feeling your body sitting. This person who you know so intimately. Now welcome yourself into your own heart with all your loving kindness. And offer yourself the wishes of loving kindness. In your own words, giving all your unconditional love. <coughs> Forgiving your fault. And if there's any part of yourself which you find it difficult to embrace, to give loving kindness to, you might want to imagine your heart wide open as if it has two doors. From your heart, a ladder is coming down. And at the bottom of that ladder are all the little yous. The parts of you which have been hurt. The parts which you give a hard time. The vulnerable parts. the angry parts, the child that is you. And imagine this wiser, more compassionate, older version of yourself standing in your heart and gently inviting those smaller, nervous parts of yourself you've not really fully embraced, fully accepted, inviting them to come in, to climb up that ladder and come fully inside your heart. Knowing they'll be accepted, they'll be safe.
May I be happy. May I be at peace with the whole of me. May I be truly content, fully liberated. Allowing your loving kindness to spread throughout your body. Bathing you in healing, golden, warm energy. Noticing any pleasant sensations. And allowing the mind to rest in that. fully accepted at last. So just staying with those feelings, with your eyes closed, I'm going to chant some wishes of love and kindness. So just allow them to wash over or wash through you as I chant the final meta blessing. Sabe Sata Sabe Pana Sabe Buddha, Sabe Purgala, Sabe Atabawa Pariyapana, Sabe Tio, Sabe Purisa. Sabe Ariya, Sabe Anariya, Sabe Deva, Sabe Manusa, Sabe Winipadika. Awe wa hon tu, abya paja hon tu, ani ga hon tu, suki atanam pari haran tu, dukha munjan tu. Yatalada sampatito Mawe gachantu Kamadagam